Hello. Today I'll be showcasing two essential plugins for any No Grief Minecraft server, Core Protect and MC Bans. These plugins will allow you to bring back anything that was destroyed, log all data, and ban the players so they may never return. Let's get started with a scenario. First, to recognize a grief, someone would start by calling for help. As you see here, Ricky has called for help. He has been grieved. So step one, we will teleport to him. Teleport. Ricky. Okay, Ricky, where has the grief occurred? The grief has happened everywhere. And, of course, we can see here his house has been damaged greatly. But, for this demonstration, Ricky has destroyed these blocks himself, so... <laughs> First, to get started, we'll have to access Core Protect, which you can do by typing out full-on slash core protect or just slash co for short. Core Protect is a plugin that allows you to log all data, so if a block has been placed, destroyed, or edited, it allows you to see that. So for this purpose, to see who has done the grief, we'll need slash co inspect. The inspector tool has now been turned on. You can use either just your hand here to click around to get block data, or you can actually place a block as if like the block had been there, and it will tell you what happened there. Okay, so we've gotten some data here. You can see the time of when the block was edited, the name of the player who did it, what they did, and the item that was there and destroyed or placed. So next, after inspecting to the area and getting a name, you ask the player if they know the person. If they do know the person, it could have just been a prank by, the fr by their friend, and you don't have to do anything, they'll sort it out on their own. But if they don't know the person, or they know the person is an enemy, this is now what we know as a grief. And once we know it's a grief, we have to get started with MC Bans. MC Bans will make sure that this player never returns. So, first, when performing a ban, you need to recognize what ban is in place. MC Bans has a set of rules uh, for global bans or local bans. I will put a link in the description for the set of rules of global bans. You will need to know these bans by memory basically if you're going to use MC bans on your server because they're very important because it affects the player's rep so other servers will know this player is bad and they don't want them on their server or they should watch them when they join their server and rep it goes it starts at 10 and it will drop ever so much the more you get banned so grief is number one biggest rule it's a global ban to the so to ban this player now we are going to ban Ricky in another demonstration here since he also destroyed these blocks so you do slash G ban for a global ban and then the player's name Ricky and then you have to put a reason after that ban so I would do grief CP for core protect confirms and then you'd put a nick after that I will put walrus as that is my nick And then now, Ricky has been banned, and he can never get back on the server, ever. Unless we unban him, which will never happen, because he has griefed. <laughs> so, after he's been banned, you also need evidence to back up that ban. So you'll take screenshots of all this grief. You'd fly around, take screenshots of everything that has happened here. Okay, now that we have the screenshots, we could use those for if he were to say, oh, I didn't do that, we can. We have something to back that up. You'll also want to take screenshots of all the data logs that uh, show his name in it to prove that it was indeed him that placed and destroyed blocks in the area. Also, after doing a global ban, you'll want to do a IP ban which you can get their IP by doing slash scene 
and then their name and then once we have their IP we can do slash ban IP and then type in that IP address so once we've banned his IP you don't have to put a reason on that one he cannot get on on any more accounts from his IP address so he can never get back on now basically and when doing the ban it is very important to include a reason in this because the reason shows why that person was banned and then it will let all the other staff at MC ban see why it happened because invalid bans can hurt your own servers rep and putting your nick is also very important because it allows other people on your own staff to know who banned that player and who has the evidence so now that the player is banned we must reverse the damage they have caused this would be done with once again core protect for a rollback the parameters to a rollback are um, slash co rollback and then you have to put the player p which we know it was ricky and then the time will do uh, one hour and then a radius radius is important because we don't want to roll back something maybe they helped the server with earlier on or they helped another player build something so we don't want to take back what happened because it will put a bunch of holes in what they have built so we want to put a radius of about you want to keep it within 25 but I can see that there's a block very far from me so I'm going to put about 40 and you'll perform that and it will reverse all of this data that has happened here as we can see the house is all fixed everything's nice again you want to check everything again ask you'll ask the player also to go and check all the blocks inside ask them if everything is nice and neat back where it is so if you follow these steps correctly you'll have just performed an excellent assistant to a grief uh, just remember that the steps to assisting a grief are first to recognize the grief has occurred second know who did it uh, third ban the player and fourth roll back the damage I hope this tutorial has helped you understand these important plugins for any no grief server thank you for watching